What is up guys? I'm Kubrick and welcome to the second episode of my building series in which we are building medieval barracks for the Black Falcon army. In today's episode we have a lot of progress to talk about because I've already finished the base plate and moved on to the buildings. And I gotta tell you guys, this is gonna be another one of my favorite mugs because I'm putting so much detail in it that my fingers are already sore from stacking all the small elements in it. I got a lot of great comments on the first episode and I want to thank you all for the support, but here it is, you have seen nothing yet because the progress in this episode is so much better than the previous one. Oh, and if you are new here, be sure to check out the first episode so that you can see what the plan is for the whole build, the minifigure army and how the base plate came to life. I will leave a link to that video in the description of this one and put them both in a playlist. But now, without dragging it too much, let's jump into today's progress. So guys, as you can see, I've moved on with the build quite significantly. First of all, I've finished the bushes on the edge that I started last time. I've added a few layers of the bushes and now they are finally looking as they were supposed to be. I've placed a few different color ones on the inside just to mix it up a bit and I've connected them with these three leaf flower stems both in bright and olive green as well as standard sticks. Not only are they keeping the bushes together but also adds a bit of variety and I gotta say I am very happy of the look. To add even more detail I've placed some vines using a few whips and the green connector rings from the big leaf stems I used to cover the grass on the right side of the mock. And I even included a pirate rifle as a piece of branch sticking out of the bushes. And after finishing those I have moved to the stonework which I already have most of done. If you take a closer look at the walls they are just bursting with details. As this is not the biggest mock I could allow myself to skip using the 1x2 regular bricks and just focus on using plates, tiles, ingots and a few masonry bricks here and there. Thanks to this technique I've got a pretty neat looking stonework that is looking very realistic and not boring as a flat brick wall would be. The plan was to make the tower, the stone wall and the lower part of the building like that but unfortunately I've ran out most of these types of parts so I will have to change the concept of the main barracks building a bit. I will probably make the whole thing with a half timbered wall but that's something I will work on for the next episode. Now back to the structures I already have starting with the wall marking the archery range. I've already made some placeholders for the targets just to figure out the technique. And the whole concept is pretty simple. I've made everything as one loose element that I've put in the holes I left in the wall. This way I will be able to switch the targets with the parts I got in this week's haul that I will talk about later in the video. The individual targets will be a bit upgraded though because I will use ton round plates and then put rubber bands on them so they are a bit bigger and look way better. And because of using the tiles with holes and round plates under them I will be able to mark the bullseye with red bars and even put some arrows in them. Looking up this beautifully textured wall you can see that it's hollow on the inside and not close from the top yet. And that is because there will be a battery pack inside but I will talk about that in just a second. From the other side I wanted to make hoardings on the wall. I was experimenting a lot with the techniques but finally I came out with this knot design. A bunch of reddish and dark brown plates and tiles and I even placed some stud shooter triggers to make the wood look old and used. The height of the arrow slits is made perfectly for a minifigure so they would see through them but still be fully covered from the enemy arrows. The thing that I'm most proud of here is the way I made the supports. I managed to get the perfect angle using these plates with Technic connector and a cheese slope from the bottom. Moving on to the highest part of the build, the tower isn't of course yet completed but I made the main structure and finished it up from the top with plates. I'm thinking about doing a snot finish here to make the tower a bit wider on the top but I'm not quite sure how will I make the crenellations. From the side of the tower I made two openings because here the tower will connect with the barracks building. I plan to make the living quarters on the top floor with few beds and few pieces of furniture and on the ground floor there will be a big hole with a fireplace and maybe a dining table, we'll see. 
and of course I've made an inside of the tower. I used the same design for the stairs as in my gold mine mock, but this time a bit wider and allowing the soldiers to get all the way to the top of the tower. There is a small weapon storage on the bottom floor and something I am so excited to include that is the working lights. I've made them using custom lights which were provided to me by Light Tailing. The light system is very easy to use and the LED lights and cables are so small that I can easily fit them between bricks. If you want to check out the lights for your own mocks, I will leave an affiliated link in the description of this video. By using the link you will not only help out the channel, but also you will get a 5% discount on your order, so that's a pretty good deal, right? Anyway, back to the build. I already left one LED going to the top, because I want to place one more light here, this time hanging from the ceiling. This should give a nice warm feel to the inside of the cold stone interior. I will also put some lights in the barracks building and also in the fireplace in the chimney. But for that I will have to rearrange this wall a bit because when I was making the grass I totally forgot about that. And there is of course still a tree to build, but that shouldn't be a problem since I already have a few ideas for it. Now before we wrap it up I have one more thing to show you guys that is the few parts I got for this episode. First of all, and the most important ones, I got some rubber bands, two red bars, and ton round plates to finish the archery targets as I was talking before in the video. Next I got some reddish brown tiles that I was already running out of even after taking some from the ideas blacksmith set. And not to tear down the whole set, I got a few window frames for the shutters I got in the last hole. I also got these brown flex hoses for which I will definitely find a use for and brackets to switch on the hoardings as well as few sticker sheets to use for detailing. Maybe in this mock, maybe in future ones. And last but not least, I got nearly a hundred more grey plates for the chimney because I've already used most of the ones I had. Ok guys, and that is basically all the stuff I have built and bought for this episode and some of the things I am planning to do for the next one. And I think that should be the finale of this build series as there is not much structures to build and placing the details is just pure joy. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode and if you did be sure to smack that like button and subscribe to the channel to make sure you won't miss on the grand finale. Write down in the comments how do you like today's progress and what is your favorite part. And as always, remember to stay safe and keep it bricking.